What's going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at the ice cap fish traps. Welcome back to another Premium Aquatics video and if this is your first time being here this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision on what is right for you your reef tank and your budget and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video today we're going to be taking a look at the fish traps from ice cap so let's jump into it all right guys so today we're going to be taking a look at the ice cap fish trap now we have the small the medium and the large and these are very very useful tools and a very important part of the learning curve that sometimes happens in this hobby. Uh, most of us that start out, we don't always do our research on fish, and there may come a time where a fish that you went to the fish store, saw and liked and purchased, uh, turns into a bully, or for whatever reason, you need to remove him. Let's say you have a possible fish that needs to be treated in a hospital tank, uh, this is a device that really serves a lot of different purposes and it makes the process of removing fish much, much easier and it can be very, very troublesome. Uh, it actually can be kind of fun even though that there is a little bit of stress associated with needing to remove a fish from a tank. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be setting up the small and we'll take a look at the other two as well and putting them in the tank and seeing how responsive they are and how quick that they operate so you can trick that pesky little fish because uh, after you've swiped at them a few times with the nets they're usually on to what you're doing this is a product that really can help out in that situation so there really isn't a whole lot to this product uh, you have the sketch this is basically the assembly sketch and it kind of gives you an idea as to how to put this together and it comes in pieces and not only does it come in pieces but it has uh, the protective coating on the acrylic pieces to keep it from being scratched up and this is a product that is not only going to um, work well for trapping fish it's also a product that can be very useful for introducing fish to a new aquarium uh, and kind of get the other fish established to seeing this fish prior to just releasing them into the tank. So it basically gives you an idea as to how to assemble the fish trap and tells you to remove the protective coating from the acrylic. And it appears that it has some type of feeding tube on the top. Uh, and you also have these bands that are, I am assuming, what holds this device together. All right, let's give it a shot. Before I go any further, I'm going to assemble this. And I'm not removing um, the protective coating from it just yet. Um, I'm gonna put it together first, take a look at it, and then take it apart and put it back. Um, a lot of times with this protective coating that's on the acrylic, the best way, you can sit here and pick at it and pick at it and you're going to lose your mind. Uh, the best way to remove it is to take a damp cloth, hold it on the protective coating for, uh, let's say, 15 to 20 seconds, and then that's going to peel up a lot easier for you. Uh, it's going to save you a lot of time as well. So you have it set up. Put your little bait station in there. It's going to slowly release food. And then when the fish gets in there and does what it needs to do, just shut the trap door and you're golden. But this really could serve many, many purposes. You could acclimate fish with this. You can trap fish with this. This is a really great tool that could definitely make fish keeping a whole lot easier. All right, so we took our trap apart and... I kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, how hard it is to really, well, I don't really have, I just broke fingernail, but it's not that easy to do, um, especially when it's dry. But if you take a damp 
washcloth and hold it onto the protective coating. Uh, it's going to help out quite a bit with that. We're going to let this set up for about 20 to 30 seconds and then we're going to be able to uh, dramatically, there you go. So we already got a corner started there. And really, the wetter you have it, it's going to come off. And this works on all acrylic. This isn't just something, you know, particular to this uh, product. You can literally, anytime that you get acrylic shipped to you that has that protective coating on it, it's pretty easy to just dampen it up and it peels right off very, very easily. All right, so we have the small trap, which is six inches front to back, three inches tall and three inches wide. Then we have the medium trap, which is eight inches front to back, six inches tall and six inches wide. And then we have the large trap, which is 10 inches front to back, eight inches across and eight inches tall. What I really like about this trap is the food or the bait station, which you have this tube that has holes in the bottom. You have your gasket, which is going to maintain the height of the feeding tube. And then you can take the cap off and put whatever you want in there. I'd probably go with some type of frozen treat, which is going to entice those fish to go into the trap. If you guys want to take a look at the ice cap fish traps, they are available at Premium Aquatics. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. If you want to take a look at the ice cap fish traps, which are available at Premium Aquatics, there's going to be a link down in the description below where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you next time right here with a brand new video.